Hello, I'm Sienna Bose. Welcome to my channel, Learning Builds Life, and today we are going to talk about classification of bones. This is the continuation of what we did in the previous episode, that is structural classification, macroscopically and microscopically. Let me explain. Structural classification. Microscopically. In the previous video, we discussed about how we saw a bone macroscopically. That means whatever we can envision in the naked eye. Like for example, for the diaphysis, we can see the shaft and, uh, and we also know that these forces like tensile bending, twisting forces act on it. And also we talked about cancellous bone, which was the epitheses or spongy or trabecular bone, which was visible as a network of trabeculae, that means rods or plates, and we also talked about lamellae, which were different plates of bony tissue, but lamellae are plates of bony tissue. We talked about some important things about those as well, macroscopically. Now looking at microscopically, but before we begin, I would like to discuss some differences between compact bones and cancellous bones. Compact bones, cancellous bones. So let's begin. Firstly, compact bones are present in the diaphysis or shaft. That means the middle part between the end. end. The diaphysis or shaft. And here it's present in the epiphyses, that means the ends. Moving on of how its formation, it, like what's the formation. Compact bones uh, have a haversian system. Now what is a haversian system? A haversian system is actually an arrangement in the bone, which is like concentric, you know concentric circles, like circles overlapping. Similarly here it's like concentric cylinders. That type of arrangement is a haversian system, but here it's a meshwork. Oh, sorry. Here it's a meshwork of rods and plates, as I said, or trabeculae. And plates. Next, we will talk about the bone marrow. In compact bone, the bone marrow is actually yellow. It stores fat. After puberty. Puberty is actually a process of the child growing into an adult like adolescence, entering into adolescence period, that is puberty. It stores fat after puberty because of which the color becomes from red to yellow. But before puberty, red, it's red. 
and in case of cancellous bone, it's always red. And produces RBCs. The grainy, like, like gran granulated structure, WBCs and platelets. Now let's uh, make the last point. It's ivory, ivory and hard, ivory-like and rigid. But here, it's spongy. We can have a recap on the differences. The first one is the compact bones are present in the diaphysis or shaft, and the cancellous bones are present in the epiphyses. Two, haversian system, that means concentric cylinder pattern. And two, I mean, in case of cancellous, it's a metric of rods and plates or trabeculae. In number three, we have we are talking about the bone marrow. It's yellow before it's yellow after puberty, stores fat after puberty. But before puberty, it's red. And in case of cancellous bone, it's always red and produces RBCs and also contains like near about WBCs and platelets. That means RBCs are red blood cells or red blood corpuscles. WBCs are white blood cells or white blood corpuscles. And platelets are small granules which help in clotting of blood, blood etc. And lastly, ivory-like and rigid means can, compact bone is ivory-like and rigid and hence present in the diaphysis, whereas the epiphyses or the bone present in the epiphyses that is the cantalus bone is spongy. Now you may take a look at the board. Moving on, let's continue. Microscopically looking, we have four types of bones. Firstly, we have lamellar bones. Over here, actually, it depends on the structure of the lamellae. In case of compact bones, it is a haversian system. But cancellous bone have the network of rods and plates. Rods and plates. And previously we discussed a pressure lamellae were parallel to the lines of the weight of transmission of that bone, and the tension lamellae were at right angles to the pressure lamellae. Moving on to woven, woven bone. Woven bones are present in the fetus, like fetal. In fetal stage, it's present woven bones. These woven bones are also like a network of rods and plates, but it's like randomly, randomly arranged. also present in cancer of the bone. Then we have fibrous bone. Also present in young fetal stage. And 
also for reptiles and amphibia. It's present in young fetal stage, reptiles, and amphibia. Lastly, we have dentine and cement. Present in teeth. Quick revision, lamellar bones compact, haversian system, Capsulous bones, network of rods and plates. Pressure lamellae are parallel to the lines of weight, of tra weight transmission. And uh, the, the tension lamellae are at right angles to pressure lamellae. Moving bones, fetal stage are cancer of the bone, randomly arranged rods and plates. Fibrous bone, young fetal stage, reptiles and amphibia. And lastly, we have dentine and cement, which are present in teeth. Now you may take a look at the board. Hope you enjoyed this episode and please like, share and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.